And today I want to share with you the three check ride failures of students that I've had over the past 13 years. Number three coming up again. Out of all the hundreds of people I've sent for check rides, I've only had three people fail on the first attempt. So I thought out of all those check rides, these are three good probably tips to, to cover for some quick check ride prep on what I've seen, you know, this trip people up over a number of years. Number one was my very first student that I ever sent for a check ride anywhere, and it was in a Robinson helicopter. And these three failures, one's a Robinson, one's a Schweitzer, and one is an Enstrom. So again, number three, the three failures have all been in three different styles of aircraft. So this first gentleman was an airplane CFI, and he was a really sharp individual, and he was really well prepared, and he got to the check ride, and he was busting through the oral stuff, and he was doing great. And then the examiner asked him to figure how to figure pressure altitude. And he couldn't remember how to do it by hand. He wanted to use a chart or use his fancy electronic E6B. And the examiner said, no, you have to be able to figure pressure altitude by hand. For example, you're in an aircraft, you're in a helicopter, and you're going to divert and go land at an at a airport where you hadn't planned it landing. And maybe it's a higher elevation. And you need to know how to hover when you can get when you get there. So you need to be able to take the current pressure setting for that airport, figure pressure altitude by hand in order to work the performance chart. And he could not do it by hand, so the examiner felt him. So that's one that I've always made sure over the years, 100% hands down, make sure my students know how to figure pressure altitude by hand. Number two was a student of mine back in Cleveland when I was a fairly new instructor, a few years under my belt, and it was in a Schweitzer helicopter. And this one was on a steep approach. And this was a female student that was going for a CFI check ride. And she was excellent on the ground. She was a great ground instructor and was doing really well with all the ground stuff. And the flying was, you know, could have been a little bit better, but it wasn't too bad. And on the flight portion of the check ride, she of course aces the oral part. They go out to fly. 15 minutes later, I see them flying back in or hovering back in. I thought, uh-oh. I know this can't be good. So when they get in, basically we all sit down together and he says, okay, on your steep approach, you started it and you told me it was too steep. And then as she continued the, the approach, she kept saying, oh, this is too steep, this is too steep. But she continued the approach all the way down. And when she got to the end, he said, well, what do you think? And she said, well, that was too steep. And he said, that's right. And you had the opportunity to go around because it was too steep at the beginning. So at the beginning of the approach, when she first started it and said, this is too steep, she had the option to go around. She could have went around, took her time, got set up again. There she'd have had the go around done, because that's a maneuver for the check ride. Went around, take a big deep breath, set it up again and try it again. But she started too steep, told the examiner it was too steep, and then continued the approach. So we all know selling with power is a big deal, and that's why the steep approach is a big deal, and you got to use good technique and... If you think it's too steep, go around and you have to catch it early. You can't wait till you're three quarters of the way through the approach and then say, oh, I'm going to go around now. That's that's not the point. If you start out a little bit sloppy and you think it's a little bit too steep at the beginning of the approach when you're up several hundred feet, you could ultimately go around and save yourself busting the check ride. So remember, a steep approach is 15 degrees. If you're coming in and you're getting real steep and you're getting real slow, happen to have the wind off your tail or off the side, you're really in danger of selling with power. So 15 degrees for a steep approach. There's guys going out and flying them, trying to fly them at 45 degrees, and that's just very, very difficult. So steep approach, 15 degrees. And then the third one was in an Enstrom, and it was during an auto rotation. And in this instance, this gentleman entered his auto rotation a little too early or a little too late. I can't remember which one it was, but he missed the spot. The check rate was going pretty good but he missed the spot by like 60 or 70 feet. So, you know, like an example for this picture, if this is your spot right here, here's an arrow, your auto rotation, you want to come out and you want to flare pretty much over your spot. If you missed it by 10 or 20 feet, is that a big deal? Mm, probably not. You're probably going to be okay. But if you go and miss it by 50 or 70 or 100 feet, not going to be acceptable. So in that one, like the others, we had to do a little additional ground and go out and do a few maneuvers. And then they, all three of these people came back and aced their check rides the second time after their first failure. So on the other rotation, you gotta get good at estimating at when to enter so that depending on whether is it a windy day, is it a calm day, 
you got to come out pretty close to your attended spot. If you're shooting your auto to the numbers 2.8, you want to be starting your flare before 2.8 and leveling out right at the numbers or pretty darn close. A little bit of run on speed's okay, but you want to flare and level out over your intended touchdown spot. So if you have any comments or questions, put them in the box below. If you're interested in help with preparing for your helicopter check ride, you can always go to helicopterground.com. We have a wealth of information there about our online ground school. We're now two years online and we are having more and more check ride success all the time. And it's really trying out to be a neat deal.